was fantastic. Let's see what happens. We as developers are always striving to improve our work. To do this, we need information that we can only get from you. By sending game statistics and bug reports to us, you can help us learn more about the way you play, what difficulties you encounter in our game. Since this game is based on Unity technologies, we will use Unity analytics to analyze your game experience data. You can opt out. Uh, you can opt out of data collection anytime from the settings menu. Would you like to opt in? The clicking of set you can find that you've read the ingredient. But I don't want to opt in. Eh, fuck it, whatever. Wow, Sakura. Wow. Someone's being a bitch today. Yeah, squeak. Game logs everything ever, ever, the game logs everything that everyone said ever in the time of ever. Our other story modes are coming soon. Take up the mantle of a rogue trader. The, the scion of an ancient dynasty of daring privateers that reign over their trade pr protectorate and explore the fringes of the known galaxy. Darkness looms over the bloodline the bloodline of Von Valak Valactius Valanctius 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 as it faces multiple threats from within its own ranks and without uh, and without as countless enemies seek to destroy the most daring and brave agents of humanity it is up to you to hold the reins of the shattered protectorate and forge a new path for the von Valanctius family currently finding itself in a vortex of wars Intrigues, calamities, and hearsay. The stakes are high, and rise even higher as you cross paths with terrifyingly powerful and ambitious adversaries in the darkness of the Cronus Expanse. Okay! I'm gonna play I'm gonna normal, because I'm probably gonna die anyway. Wait. Huh? You can make a custom character? Create your very own rig trader or trader from scratch. The possibilities are endless when it comes to customizing your character and choosing their home world, gender, and background. And can all, you can also choose from a wide variety of abilities and skills, such as combat skills, social skills, and technical skills. These abilities and skills determine how your character interacts with the world and what kind of challenges they can overcome. Finally, you can choose your character's archetype. Each archetype path offers its own unique set of opportunities and challenges. Choose wisely. With all these customization options at your fingertips, you can create a rogue trader that is truly one of a kind. And embark on an adventure unlock unlike any ever in the world of Warhammer 40k. So, you can pick between Hec Hecata, who's this person. As you can also see her over here. You can pick it from Darius, who's this person. And a Bahardor. Now, I don't know who these people are. I'm assuming they're presets for the game. I don't know if they have any sort of, like, meaning in 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 the universe. But I'm gonna make... I'm gonna make me. I'm gonna make... I'm gonna make a me. Singe. Mwah. Okay. Modded my portrait. I just wanted to get a question, you're doing it wrong. I'm not, my name's not Screaming Doggo. Uh, thank you very much. Wow, Sakura. I am going to squish you. I'm going to squish your face. I'm going to pick you up and I'm going to spin you around. Um. None of these have a giant great swords. They're doing it wrong. Why does he look like Jace, but like evil? None of these are that appealing. Oh wait, you, you'll do, you'll do. Oh, it actually lets you like pick your appearance. Wait, does that change if you change his like hairstyle? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. It doesn't, oh, it doesn't change the portrait to match the hair. That's kind of sad. Uh... 
me in Warhammer. So, look, listen, I have to have the gayest looking rogue trader that ever did gay. Okay? Just let, just let me cook. Okay? Just let me cook. Yeah, see, I would like that too. Uh... Okay. Uh, where's my... Where's the facial hair? There it is. We need to get rid of the facial hair. He, need, he needs no facial hair. Wait, no, no, hold on. Wait a minute. You can't... You're right, you can't see him. He's behind my head. With Gian Fabulous. Ivorin... Wait, Ivorini Just. Thank you so much. Ivorini, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Crown Kingdom. You'll see him when I'm done. Wow. Even for one road traders can be very gay, very pandering. Yeah. We like that. Uh okay. Can I not have buff? Am I not allowed multiple tattoos? I guess I'm not allowed multiple tattoos. You're right, Zen. You're right, you can't see. Ivar, 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 I, oh my god, I can't speak today. Ivar, Ivarininus. Ivar, <laughs> Ivar, hi. Sorry. Is that one five of the top page? Yeah, it has multiple tattoos. Like, uh, hold on. Um, I'm trying to find the, the perfect face. I don't think the perfect face exists. I think free was the best I was gonna get. Let me know free? No. Five. Yeah, yeah. Look, listen. I can I can't show you his uh his tummy, right? His tummy and his nipples. Ooh, too too hot for Twitch. Can't can't show you his. For tattoos, yeah. There's five tattoos. Oh no! Wait, I can have five tattoos. You're a genius. Why can't I not have like a leg tattoo? Why aren't these leg tattoos? No, I'm joking, dragon. I was joking. It was a joke. Prince, you're adorable. Perfect. There we go, chat. My tattoos. Oh, you can augment. You can have augmentations. It was it, it it was a joke, cantankerous. I was making the funnies. I don't know if I want any of these though. Chrome dome. No, I don't know if I want any of these. The Borg tattoo. Why can't, why is my hair, where's my, where's, where, what is the hair colors? I want black. I want like actual black, not brown. First. A new but, challenge for me. Thank you, Ivor. We need to investigate. Deliver that. I'll make it happen. Whispers. What curiosity and all hands. Time to reap the spoils of blood and mayhem. The best offense is a good offense. The best offense is a good offense. Oh, chat, there he is. That's the man, the boy that I made. Look at him. He's not. You can't. I did the best I could. What curiosities? Let chaos paint the stuff. Lance batteries. Volley! I don't need luck. I have strategy. I have strategy. Engage the engines. That's that's him. It's the boy. This is bigger than mine. Well, look, man's got bigger tats than Sakura. Damn. 
All right, Death World. On Death Worlds, the plants, beasts, and sometimes even the environment itself take aggressive and destructive forms inimical to human life. While exceptionally difficult to colonize, many Death Worlds possess valuable resources that require an outpost or other human presence upon the pleasant surface to harvest. These harsh environments result in some of the hardiest and most resilient populations in the galaxy. Those tested and found wanting to die young. Uh, survival instinct lacks fellowship. But, and intelligence, but is strong, ag agile, and tough. Now we have Voidborn. Oh god, you get talents. Wait, what were the talents on my death world? Trusty weapons, lifetime of scars, tenacity, wounded beast, and brutal hunt. I think already I want to do death world. Voidborn. Voidborns are humans birthed in the belly of a void vessel. Or, or, hey Bambi, you're cute. How you doing? I'm doing okay. How you doing today? Void vessel or aboard an ancient orbital satellite. Those who have lived their lives on void ships become in, in, become inured to some extent due to the reality altering process of warp travel. To living in low or zero gravity environments. In many cases, their features are drawn and their skin pallid. They may even have minor deformities or a strangeness to their speech, guide, or general appearance that sets them apart from others. You know, I don't want to read all these. I'm thinking, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm in for Death World. I'm in for Death World. Oh my god. Look at the changes their outfits, chat. We got the, the Astra Militarium Commander. We have the Commissar. We have the Crime Lord. We have the Minister. Dorian Priest, we have the Navy Officer, we have the Noble, and the Sanctioned Psyker. Uh, let's see. Um... I don't have a clue what these different skills do. But you always seem to give like a specific set of skills. I can get fucked as uh, They did say, it did say the Astro Militarium, commonly known as the Imperial Guard. So it does mention it, Cantankerous. It does say it. You can get pretty much the majority of the skills there. Make the gaze. Oh, look, man's got a cape, right? The narrative. I'm liking. Mm, yeah, I'm looking at the drip. That's what I'm looking at right now. I'm kind of thinking the Astra. Look, he's got, he's got this cape. Look at it. Look at it go. The only other one that had a cape is like this one. But I don't really like the hat in this one. I was thinking the commander. Fighter? Oh, I like fighters. I like punching. I wanna punch I wanna beat the shit out of things. Slashy slash. Big boss. I do like Big Boss. Probably going to go with the Commander, I think. Oh, the Columbus hat? No, I do not like the Columbus hat. Weapon skill and strength. That would be the Commissar, probably. Yeah, that would be the, the Crime Lord or the Commissar. And I don't like their drip. Hey, thanks. Hi. How are you doing? It's negative 31. You'll share? Uh, I guess I'll do Commissar then. Drip's not as good, but I mean, if he's if weapon skills what I want, then Cyphus Kane. All right, he played a key role in the exposing conspiracy among your superior officers in the Astro Milita Militarium. 
Logic 5. Your name has become synonym for loyalty and valor, and your visage has, has adorned many Imperial Guard propaganda posters. Coercion. You directed a heroic, heroic attack on a, of an Imperial Guard regiment that breached the gates of a fortress held by heretics. Demolition. Um, maybe a logic person, I think. The souls of all who perish in the brutal offenses still haunt your nightmares and torture your soul. Also accused of cowardice, you were forced to suffer for a, humili a humiliating tribunal. You were attacked by a group of renegade guardsmen during a mutiny and were beaten half to death. Thinking grim importance, the, 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 the ghosts of the damned haunt my dreams. Archetypes. I'm gonna go warrior, because it leads to vanguard. Okay, thanks. Enjoy your food. Okay, so I have. Oh. Sounds a bit right, chat. This sounds a bit right. Negative intelligence. Uh, how many skills do I have? Weapon skills. Oh, I can add five. Oh, wait, hold on. Can I? Oh, I can normalize it. Okay, hold on a second. Let's up that. Let's up this. Uh, let's up this. Yeah. Like that. Hardship. Sword class frigate. Okay. Sword class frigate is a classic void ship design proven in thousands of battles, combining decent firepower, high speed, and respectful survivability. Estimated dimensions, blah blah blah. The Von Valantis flagship is the mightiest void ship belonging to the Von Valantis dynasty. Every system aboard every system aboard the frigate has been tried and tested in innumerable engagements. His weapons and turrets deliver hardened volleys with pinpoint accuracy. His plasma drives are rugged yet unreliable in extreme conditions. The flagship size and maneuverability are perfect for pursuing smaller, faster raiders, and for hunting the countless pirates, xenos, and heretics in the Cronus the Cronus expense. Does um does someone get it? What do you mean? Dragon. Numerous Von, not Von Valanche's rogue creators have acknowledged the exceptional performance of this vessel. And with a few minor updates, the flagship has continued to faithfully serve the Von Valanche's dynasty. They wouldn't have a good sleep. What's a Gloriana class ship? Because I can I can roll I can randomize. But I don't know if that changes the Oh, I can change this. I'll get one dragon. I'll just, I'll, I'll pick it out of a hat. Um, Bon Stabby. Bon Stabby will be its name. Welcome to Von Stabby, the sword class frigate. Bigger or better. I wish I could have more. All right, Rogue. Let's edit his name. All right. My awareness ain't great, but like, oh no, I think he's he's ready. He's good. He's 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 set to go, chat. Once again, chat. Remember, you can check it out there on that link that the, the developers gave me. Let's see what happens. Oh. And Nikki. I've seen a lot of people talk like about how good this game is, but people weren't too happy with Realms of Rune. Ah, 
that's me. <laughs> An excellent place for contemplation. One has the best view of the cathedral from here. Mesmerizing, wouldn't you say? An impeccable manifestation of the God Emperor sublimity. The man who has approached you is gazing down into the depths of the vast temple on one of the lower decks. Truly an awe-inspiring sight. Mm -hmm. That is the purpose of all temples to the God Emperor. To He's inspire idiot. awe and reverence. For it is the duty of his servants to persevere in their tireless service until they are presented with a chance to give their very life for the master of humanity. The man nods in satisfaction, <sighs> as if your words have confirmed some thought he had. He sighs and turns to you. Allow me to introduce myself. Kunrad Voitfeer, master of whispers, in the employ of her ladyship rogue trader Theodora von Valencius. At your service. I haven't had the pleasure of speaking with you in person before. Voidkir bows his head and focuses attention on you. Uh. <laughs> I go like, my name is Lumi Kinos, but I have no intention of introducing myself. But Divisional Commissar of the Officio Profexius Lumi Kinos Xanafal. You know, for in colored words. Yeah. Like so. Like a road trader. That guy. This man. The divisional commissar of the official perfects is Lumi Kinos Zanafa. My regards, Commissar. Thank Finding you. you was a difficult task. Don't worry your about it. Fate and your upbringing in the Scholar Progenium. Truly, our meeting is an act of providence, is it not? Vodkir smiles faintly, but you're not sure if it's directed at you. What's this say? The division of the Ecclesi Ecclesiar like, wait, Ecclesiarchy? Ecc Ecclesiarchy? Responsible for the upbringing, education, and training of orphans, of those officers and nobles who have died in the service of the Imperium. I will be frank with you. You may forget your past titles, no matter who gave them to you. Or what their origins are. From the moment you and the other candidate were brought aboard this void ship, your Ecclesiarchy. You now serve Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius and carry the burden of an heir of this house. Henceforth, you share your dynastic name with her ladyship. Bear it. Any caps. Uh. Lord Captain, a strange title for the Lady Vitor. Why my brother's vessel? Why have I been brought here? Uh, you're, you have a curious title. Master of Whispers. What are your responsibilities? Oh, there are so many questions. Um, as you say, I'm one of the rogue traders here. So there is another candidate. Have you played Warhammer games? Uh, I played some games and I know a little about the, the, the lore. There is. And you will meet him soon enough. What do you shrug slightly? Okay. 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 Uh, give you a curious title Master of Whispers What are your responsibilities Also for arts Mwah. To put it plainly I am the head of the network of spies And informers who serve the interests Of House von Valencius EP, come here arts I'll I put you in the lap and pet your head Both among Lady Theodora's retinue And in the ranks of her rivals I eliminate our vulnerabilities and exploit those of others. Oh. Okay. Lord Captain, that's a strange lady for a title for Lady Fiodora. Such are the traditions of the Imperium. Lord Captain is the title that was established in the annals of the Lex Imperialis. At the time when the first rogue traitors entered the Gold Emperor's service, and therefore, it is sacrosanct. Imperium of Man, the galaxy-spanning interstellar human empire ruled by the living god who is known as the Emperor of Mankind. Lex Imperialis, old acts of Imperium what laws. Okay. Hey Sam, uh, we literally just started. You got, I got to make my own character, which was really cool. I'm this guy. This is me right here. But of course. 
I have come to invite you to a meeting with Lady Theodora. I imagine you have many questions for your patroness, and I'm sure she has just as many questions for you. It is regrettable that you haven't yet had an opportunity to speak. It has been an arduous voyage thus far. Well, the, the Codex thing connects. It's a really good, like, you can hire over, like, stuff that you would know, know fucking nothing about and go, yeah, I want to know about, more about that. The Lord's Captain and Master Edelthrad von Valencius are conversing on the observation platform. Let us join them there. Let us join them there. Sam, how are you doing today? By the right of blood, rogue trader Theodora von Valencius, by the right of blood, follow Conrad. Uh, change your point of view, you move the camera using WASD keys, or use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Yeah, okay. Okay. Like, so oh, I clicked to move. Okay. That's cool. Where'd he go? Is there money to be made? Oh, I'm so fast. You can complete the in the room. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Says you're a heretic. No! I'm not a heretic. You're a heretic. Uh, interactable objects. Some objects in the game can be interacted with in a special way. They are marked with specific icons. Some icons allow you to study objects. Others will transfer the character to neighboring locations or launch a small event. These icons become visible when your character is standing close enough to the interactive object. Okay. I can let click on them. Oh. A massive conference table, obviously crafted from real wood. A resource of incredible value aboard. Aboard a void ship. Uh. I always have a backup plan. A sacred mechanism has been interfered with without due reverence. Duration of the data processing cycle has tripled. Go to pay. Oh God, it feels good to be a technician, yeah. I don't know where he went. There is. Always keep your eye on the prize. Aye. That's so con conrad. How do I talk to him? Oh, I just opened the door. Hey, One of the Fon Valencia's trophy rooms. I am. Perhaps you would like to take a look around after your audience with the Lord Captain. Oh, 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 it's the Borg. The servitors have gone berserk. The heresy. They're committing heresy. Your demise is already calculated. Okay, you've been ambushed. The battle begins at just a five. In the grim darkness of the far future, you will face enemy. You will have to face enemies of all kinds and fight for your life. These hints and tutorials will familiarize you with the combat system of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Okay. Start the battle. Wow, he missed him when he's like right in front of him. Heretics! He's dead. That guy got fucking mint. Oh my god. Movement in combat. All battles in the game are turn-based and take place on the grid. On their turn, a character can move, attack, and use their abilities. Select the cell with the highlighted area and double-click mouse but left mouse button to go there. Moving points, MP, determine how far a character can move on their turn. One MP corresponds to one cell on the battlefield. Dragon Queen next high. Purchase. I'm working on it. That'd be your cute. How you doing? No longer reason good. Lawful high. Uh, one more. Uh, one moving point corresponds to one cell on the battlefield. Moving diagonally is more costly. Every second diagonal cell uses a 2 MP. At the beginning of each turn, movement points are restored for maximum value. Okay. Can I kill him? Can I get him? Can I get him? Oh, 
Um, I can't get to him just yet, but I can move closer. Taking calculated risk is in my second nature. To make attacks and use abilities to go you. This is when action points are AP. Okay. So where's my both my AP and my MP? The attack, left click. The single shot icon. Okay. Okay. Standard stuff. Certain abilities in the game are considered attack actions. It can only be used once per turn. Unless affected by sweet talents or abilities the character might have. It's a very XCOM, honestly. It's doing, it's doing right so far. I mean, so far, you get to make a character, which is really cool. Um, like, you get to do like, go real deep on the lore of, like, how you made your character. And um, this is... The, we're just starting it, but this, this it feels fairly XCOM in, like, how it moves so far. And, like, the kind of the logic behind attacking. So if I do this and then this... Who if not me? Who if not me? When you're ready to end your turn, press space. I want a sword. Why do I have a gun? I don't have a sword. What the fuck? I wanted to shoot him. No. Let's make some opportunities. I'll make it up. I refuse. I refuse. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling you would go for him next. I Goodbye. I can scarcely what suspiciously oh. poor timing for such an accident. Servitors malfunction on the officer's deck at exactly the same moment when the rogue trader and their heirs are gathered here. Yes, Nico. I have blocked all passages between the upper and lower sectors of the residential decks. If this is a deliberate attack, it should stop the culprits from advancing their plan. Rogue Trader. As a subject of the Imperium of a unique hereditary title, a Rogue Trader is tasked with exploring and, and exploiting the still uncharted regions of the galaxy for the benefit of mankind. Without taking his eyes off the bodies on the floor, Vodki removes the Vox caster from his belt and speaks a few quick orders into the device, and he turns to you. Oh? Is this our squad? Okay. I'm afraid I must remain here. For Lady Theodora's safety, I have to oversee the execution of these orders personally. I hope you will have no difficulty reaching the observation platform on your own. It is just at the end of this corridor. The lines on Vorker's forehead soften, and his voice regains its usual, regains its usual courtesy. The master whispers and gives you a curt bow. I must go. M to open the map. Okay, so when he says end of the corridor, I'm guessing it's this way. Look how fast I run, Jet. Look at me go. Wait. Nyaum. Is this right? Am I going the right way? The master of mankind needs me. I'm guessing it's this way. He doesn't really tell me. Like, it doesn't really give me, like... Any sort of inclination top, or get left in the dust. which way I'm going. But I'm guessing this was correct. And it's simply irrational, Lady Theodora. Says the man dressed in a peculiar garb. His voice tight with tension. His face, half of which is covered by sin skin, is twisted in a grimace of displeasure and disbelief. Assimilation into the trade structure would be political and economic suicide. Practically an admission of heresy. The tall, grey-haired woman pins him with her gaze, her cybernetic eye flashing crimson, and suggests an alternative that will satisfy me. I have described the situation no worse than my seneschal could have done. 
Make a decision. What would you do without Ion 4 of the Frad? I'm going to uh, survey the room. Your options are to go. I Shadowrun. I haven't played Shadowrun games in ages. You know, six. Six. Maybe? I don't know. I'm bad with your Roman numerals. Your first impression of the Elder Frad, who appears to be 30 years old, is of parchment like skin stretched over a tightly bundled mass of sinew, implants, and bone. Sinew implants is an augmentation, a mechanical or electronic cybernetic substitute for biological limbs or organs. Nervously twitching fingers, the face twisted, twisted by a slight tick, and the jerky movements are all signs of some illness or defect that has taken over his physical form. In stark contrast to Elderfrand, Fyodora von Vol Vol Valancius features appear to be if they were carved from marble, eternal and indestructible. Head raised high, bird posture, hands clasped casually behind her back, Everything seems to, to emphasize the difference in status between her and Elderfrod. Behind the two of them, you see two more men. One is a grey-haired officer of impeccable bearing, who is studying the contents of his data slate. The other is a behemoth bristling with holsters and baldrics containing all manner of weapons. Our second candidate has joined us, the dry female voice, and the powerful feeling of being watched force you to look at Fyodora. The road trader is looking straight at you, and her gaze, like herself, is predatory and oppressive. Mikinos, approach and give me your answer. Consider the hypothetical situation. Ion 6, a new world on the fringes of Chrono the Chronos Expanse. High seismic activity, regular magma eruptions, metamorphic rock deposits, prospects for large-scale mining. The world is populated by natives who worship some hilarical underworld spirits that protect those who offer them sacrifices. Flights of fancy, you might say. But, but attempts to install ore extractors have failed for the second time. The mining crew sent to the plant simply surf the sun of surface simply vanished overnight. My question to you is, what would you do with poison tre with this poison treasure? Okay, I have lore. Xeno lore Xeno succeeded. Those spirits could well be the native's name for dangerous aliens. I would first verify if that is indeed the case and if the population of Ion 6 engages in Xeno worship. There are, way, there are ways to confirm whether what is happening on Ion 6 is witchcraft or not. It might just it might cost several psychers to do so, but it will give us the answer. I'm a former commissar. I would continue sending in more people, one crew after another, until someone succeeded in their service to humanity. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go with Z, uh, the lore Xenos one. Codes for traversing you will lose codes for traversing minefields. That's kinda cool. That's interesting. Uh Drozan Fuck. <laughs> Typical Commissar, right? I'm gonna go with the Xeno the Xeno worship one. Theodora arches an eyebrow. Reasonable and prudent. However, chasing after Ethereal creatures may prove a rather long and fruitless endeavor. Out of friend scoffs. Apart from Xenos, an untrodden planet might be teeming with m myriad of horrors that are far more dangerous and difficult to eradicate. I suspect that you, Lumigians, are simply unaware of their, their existence. A term used of the, within the Imperium to refer to aliens. I gave a straight answer to a simple question, which, as I understand, was still more than you could do, Elderfred. We both servants of the God Emperor and Lady Fyodor. Does it become any one of our statuses to engage in petty feuds? I find your tone most disagreeable, Elderfrod. You will kindly alter the manner in which you address me, or she will live to regret the consequences. Check your mouth, Elderfrod, but I should take this shit up for you. Thank you, Tamar. I appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna go with the straight answer one, I think. I'll be nice. Now shut your mouth and know your place. Hey, Brog. The color drains from Elderfrod's face, which distorts his features forever. Hello? There. Instant. Ignorant upstart! How dare you! Elderfrod, Theodora's tone renders him silent. I believe I gave you an assignment on the ship. Explain to me, then, why my senior congregator is still dawdling about the officer's deck instead of proceeding to mid the middle decks to commence inspection of the compartment and on his review. I'll be nice for now, Singe. Hi, Renee. Renee, how you doing? 
I'll be nice for now. Nice. I beg your forgiveness, Lady Fedora. Your presence your presence has such a profound effect on me that, I, well, I forgot the time. I would have had bows ceremoniously and takes his leave, sparing you another look. Uh, look, listen. I was logical, Zan. Sometimes logic isn't nice. Your Dora's gaze falls him as he leaves, and she turns to you. So, let me us why are you here? Uh, I was it not you who sent for me? Peter scoffs. You have exceeded the opening that was offered to you in a woeful display of meekness. Admittedly, this tendency is equally strong in all who toil in the Emperor's service. Immutably hi immutable hierarchy, absolute obedience, lick spittery, devotion to please. I value none of these things. From the moment. My envoys came for you. The terms of your existence changed. My name is Fyodor von Valencius and Massimo of Scaris. I'm a rogue trader in the service of the God Emperor of Humanity. My rights and freedoms are vindicated by most, by most sacred relic, the warrant of trade, kept aboard this very vessel. Mine is the honor to venture into the darkness beyond the Imperium and carry humanity's light where powers wicked and heretical reign and both death and ruin to us all. It is my decision alone to determine the fate Whatever I find past the bounds of the explored void, every world I discover, along with all there is to find there, thereon, resources, people, riches, and mysteries, is mine by right. I command millions of lives, rule over numerous planets, and possess fortunes that no planetary governor or commander could dream of amassing. And you, Lumikinos, are one of those within the Von Valencia's bloodline, blood in their veins, and rightful claim this inheritance when the arrow comes. I'm ready to take, take on the sacred purpose. Oh yes, you would be, wouldn't you? The question is, am I ready to choose you over the rest? You came aboard hours for the warm jump and have not yet distinguished yourself in any way. As things can currently stand, I have doubts that you're suitable for the role of rogue trader. Blood ray alone is not enough to earn the high honor of becoming the bearer of the warrant of trade. Nonetheless, your abilities and talents may yet prove useful. If not for the role of Lord Captain, then for that of their closest ally. Hero sighs and looks away pensively for a brief moment. As even those responsibilities that can at times be too, too challenging for those who share your blood. Conrad Vodki Vodkir served me for many years before he made his mistake. Um did, did I hear you clearly then the Mr. Master of Whispers is related to you? His kinship to me is most distant, as is yours. Nonetheless, he does bear the name Von Val Valencius. Even if the avoid is using it publicly, and as such, strictly speaking, can be considered my heir. That door, however, is close to him. Whitgear's performance in his current role is satisfactory. Or it used to be, at least. Hey Mago, good morning. Thank you for clarifying. May I ask my questions now? The Vox affix to Fyodor's attached suddenly comes to life. But all you can hear is unintelligible noise. Fyodor winces, shuts off the transmission, and gives you an imperious nod. Imperious nod. I have one. I have some time before the navigator gives the signal to initiate the voyage ship's transition out of the warp, and my presence is required on the bridge. Okay, so a, a navigator is a sanctioned noble mutant whose genes allow them to safely guide a warp capable voyage ship through the warp. In a torn alternate dimension of pure energy and madness, existing as a mirror to real space, also known as the Imperium, the Imperium. The Afer, the Sea of Souls, and the or Warp Space. I'm doing alright, Mango. How are you doing today? Navigator, translation, what are these things you speak of? Ensign, took place in the officer's deck, some servers, and Star Contact the crew here. I'm gonna we'll go with the Ensign one, I think. Is that so? Perhaps the Technomats were careless during maintenance. Or it could be that the Warp Plane tricks in us in spite of the Gatler Field. Perhaps there's. Something to all the stories about the ship being possessed, after all. Theodore laughs nonchalantly. The grey-haired officer gives the rogue trader a look of cautious disapproval. Lady Theodore, for the god emperor's sake, surely you do not intend to start repeating idle rumors spread about by the uneducated riffraff. Enough, Abelard. Such heresy amuses me. Such heresy amuses me. I dear, I... 
eagerly details me everything she learned from the whispers of her unseen advisors. She turns to you. The ship is thousands of years old. It has enough hidden nukes, malfunctioned conquerors, and unused compartments to make ignorant folks speak of, of specters dwelling inside the bulkheads and plotting against those who can't live. The brain locker and they're eating a sandwich. Enjoy your sandwich. Randy, hello. What's a co- a cog a cog a cogitator? Cogitators. Any type of digital computer in the Imperium of Man. Got it. Gracious Lord Captain, surely there are ways I can prove myself a worthy heir. You can stop me not asking questions of this sort. Hey, I have no need for sick sycophants. I will draw any conclusions when an opportunity to prove yourself arises. As for when you will be granted that opportunity, only the God Emperor knows. Okay. Where's your ship headed? The Rakad system. The domain of the rogue trader winter scale. One of my peers and rivals. Besides me, two other rogue traders exist in the Kronos Expanse. And each of them possess resources comparable to mine. Perhaps you will one day assist House Von Valencius in surpassing both of them in affluence and splendor. Set the course for Brankad on the demand. Dora grimaces. She gives you a stern look and shrugs. For a very specific reason. Perhaps I should apprise you of the purpose of this voyage. No, it's not the time. What are my current responsibilities? Observe, learn, absorb. It will take time for you to find your bearings aboard this vessel. In your new position. Eventually, I will find a post that suits you, as it did for Eldefrad. Until that time comes, consider yourself my aid. I have no more questions. In that case, I shall head to... Eudora Vox awakens once more. This time, you pick up shouting. The Lord Captain freezes, listening to the Vox cast, then nods and draws her weapon. The disturbance is reported on the adjacent decks. Since it shall, if your need arises, protect the new blood. Glances at you. It's possible that the chance to prove yourself may present itself sooner than you have made, you may have anticipated. Of course, Brandy. Here we go. What the fuck? What the fuck? Challenges make the spoils that much sweeter. You've been amb ambushed. The battle begins. All right, okay. And there's a ton of these fuckers. All commands act in turns, and their order is determined by an initiative roll. The order of turns is displayed on the left side of the screen. Holy shit. All right, okay. All right, start the battle, chat. Let's do this. Kill them. Man just, man just triple kill. Holy shit. Ah, Woo! Death to the heretics. <laughs> Didn't even flinch. Use cover to avoid enemy attacks. Cover, cover that a character can hide behind or mark with a shield or a shield of a skull. And standing close to them, the character will automatically take up an advantageous position. In this case, the chance that the enemy tags will hit the cover and not the character behind the, the enemy increases. Okay. So I want to hide like here. Don't let your guard down. Your end Kaboom! Headshot, motherfucker. The character just landed a critical hit that deals increased damage equal to the character's critical damage stat. Character's critical damage is a hundred. 150% of the normal damage by default. However, certain talents, effects, effects, and abilities can increase it. Damn. Then I guess I hit him. Haha. <laughs> hey, Dark Sandra. Yeah. Find it. We got some, uh, some heretics trying to uh, attack our. Uh, Pain and duty go hand in hand. Our, uh, our rogue trader, so I'm, uh, I'm clapping back. Damn, she got a plasma pistol! Holy shit! I took care of this one. Reduced to dust. <laughs> For the glory of the Imperium. I like his flamer. <laughs> oh, that guy's got a flamer. 
Okay. Leave him alone. I'll see to it personally. Oosh. There's no breaks in the Imperium is around. Nobody takes the time off. No mercy for the misguided. Nope. None. Ah, they can't even hit me. <laughs> Losers. There's one left. No, no, they're dead. They're all dead. Peter waves her hand at the commanding gesture. Mort, take a team with you and clear the path to the transport line. Don't let a single horse survive. The road trier turns around to you. And bat an eye when that scum bursts in the deck, huh? Not bad. I've seen many an officer panic at the sight of combat on the upper decks. The false sense of security offered by their position makes them that much more vulnerable to the harsh realities of warm travel. Look at the vox in her hand. All you can hear is lifeless static. Gore. Mwah. Hey cutie, how you doing? Where is the trash commander gun? <laughs> I don't know. Where are, what are your orders? It breaks eye contact with you. More has gone on ahead to clear a path for us. I'm going to make yourself useful. Go after him and see if the arc melting requires aid. And be quick about it. Your counter has received a temporary positive effect from an ally. Oh, that's because she gave us the thing. All right. Go. Little snack. Have a little nap. You are a little snack, though. All right. So he went... Where? This way? Boom! Not that way. Where did he go? The music is really good. This game is uh, is pretty cool. They burst in from here. I Keep just... your wits about you. Keep your wits about you. I don't seem to see anything I can touch. I guess. The officer's deck is under attack by no... Uh, was a delay. Where is it that I go? It doesn't really tell me anything on this map. This map is useless. That's my one complaint so far. Keep my options open. The map is useless. I guess I go up the stairs in. More, there he is. I want, I wanted her plasma pistol and her, her rifle and her sword even. Kunrad Vodger gives it a sign of relief upon seeing you. Thank Providence you're alive and well. Oh, was in time, eh, Kunrad? The moment we finish chasing the referee from the deck, you show up. Always just after the fighting is done. You'd set out your chrono by it. Maybe there, maybe, hopefully later. What's up, Drothif? Kunrad pointly, pointly looks away from the Ark Mountain to you. More, put yourself together. Dark Mountain looks back at you. What, the Lord Captain sent you to shivy us along? We're all done here. I'll report right away. Mort pulls his vault from the belt and hurriedly reports the situation. Master Whispers, what is happening on my ship? The Vox net is silent. The Vox Master is not responding. Armed assailants have stormed the officer's deck and my arc mouth and just destroyed several more hair decks the way here. Is this a severe case of warp madness? Have some of my crew lost their minds and forgotten who they are and who they serve? Report! I have not yet received word from the Ingenarium regarding any Geller, Geller field villiers. But communications were already unstable half an hour ago, and now they have ceased altogether. 
Whatever the cause may be, the consequences are spreading fast. I'm receiving scattered reports from the middle deck. The only Vox casts in the lower bays are one way her her heretical gibberish. Wait your pauses. Did the madmen have already reached the officer's deck, suggest that this outrage was planned in advance? Perhaps this is an organized mutiny. No, I squish you. Um. Immune against the Emperor's anointed. Execute the traitors. Every last one of them. First, we have to confirm that the bridge and the navigator sanctum are secure. And I have the means to do both things at once. Her expression changes as her eyes flash ominous. Theodore looks at Voigtgear. Petrified, where is he? I must know if he is unharmed. A psyker aboard a ship that is potentially being assault, assailed by the warp. He pose a greater threat to himself and others than the whole army of madmen with improvised weapons. Lizzie, hey. I tried to locate him, but the last thing known about his movements is that he arrived on traditional deck 18. Blast it. Master Whispers, find Elderfred immediately. Send shall locate Tlas and the sister of battle. Both are to remain at my side. Ark Militant, with me. I must go to my study, and it appears that we might encounter heretics on the way. Let me. Peter glances at you thoughtfully. If I may, Lord Captain, for your voice is soft and cautious. Traditional deck 18 is the heart of the disturbance. And if our goal is not, is if our goal is to bring Aldefar back, I could use some support. After all, I'm not as adept at directly confronting enemies on the, of the house as the esteemed Dark Militant. And taking into consideration Aldefar's sicker powers, did he just fucking insult me? Find Aldefar and bring him here. In whatever state you find him in, this elevator points to his masters leads to the restricted compartments such as my personal chambers in the bridge. Do not let me down. I require you both, you understand? Uh. I should do everything. Uh. I should do everything in my power. Peter hisses and free. Not everything in your power. You will do as I say. I'll have your heads if you fail. Is that clear? Then move out. More. Come. Fuck you. you. You said that I should, like, be my own person. And you're like, don't just, like, do what you say. And then she's like, err, err. You better do as I say. I'm like, bitch, please. Eat my fucking hole. Voyager gives you a nod. Are you ready to head to 18? It's a long walk and you don't even have proper gear. Uh. I shall make do. Lead the way. There's a former car. Uh, yes. Correct. He's a former commissar. Of course you will. He rummages in his pocket for something. Lady Fedora would never have, have someone she couldn't rely on as one of her heirs. But that is no longer relevant. A pop and a sharp crackle. Something hits you in the abdomen. And you're consumed by unbearable gut-wrenching pain. Ah! I promised you a special destiny, Link Chaos. It is time to fulfill it. What the fuck did he do? What did he do? What is going on? Go tase me. Go fucking like. He just took me out. Am I about to get like transformed or something? I don't fucking know. Ah! Careful, careful. Be gentle with our guest. He has an important mission to complete during our visit to the Warren Chamber. And for that, I need him breathing. Oh, you are back with us, I see. Delightful. I go use two-faced scum. You're the one behind this mayhem. How perceptive of you. I'll help you with the next insight. I need you here for your blood. You have the option to share it voluntarily, or I will squeeze it out of you myself. Bro, don't take my blood. I need that in my body. We are in the anteroom of the war in chamber, this void ship's most hallowed vault. There, beyond those gates, lies the relic that gives Theodora all of her power. The sacred Warrend of Trade. 
Only one obstacle remains on my path to obtaining it. The gates of the chamber are guarded by the Sentinel, an ancient device that will only open the door to a true heir of the dynasty. I expected to do this part myself, but never mind. You will offer your blood to the Sentinel. What is it, inbred? Is your blood in for the Sentinel? On the contrary. The Warp's blessing has raised me too much above your kind, Fon Valencius. The Sentinel refused to submit to me. But you can help. After all, isn't that what family is for? Um, how about coercion? Okay, what, sorry? What sorry prophetic excuse do you even have for your ap apostasy? You sordid, wretched piece of grok shit. Wretched? What do you know about wretchedness? Theodorus Kerr. Are you hoping to buy a grain of her indulgence with your blind loyalty? Oh, I know this delusion. But thanks to gods, it no longer has power over me. Humanity can rot. I no longer serve mortal kind. Something, if your tone of venomous words are froze can run off for a moment, as hateful fury blazes from beneath the mask of a cold professional. Once my work is done, I'll make that pompous wrench. Von Valencius watch as I sacrifice her entire dynasty and commit their fate to the gods. And you will be the instrument by which I will accomplish this righteous act. Voiger hesitates from a second. And then in produces a strange weapon. A blade with a handle that shimmers blue in the light. Hey, Mayo. The blade flashes in the dim light and draw a drop of blood uh, wait, and draws the blood appear in your palm for a, a brief moment. You feel nauseous, your head spinning. And then quiet whispers begin to flood your mind. More and more sourceless voices echo each other, drowning at your own thoughts, replacing them with a single urge. Go to the gate. Go to the gate. Go to the gate. Skill tests and dialogues. One of the available dialogue options requires making a skill test. Unlike with passive tests, which are made automatically, in this case you can decide whether or not to select the op an option, the consequences of which will depend on the result of the associated test. Okay, so I'm guessing it's fight the voice in your head. Get out! I am not your puppet! The voices in your head giggle and mock your desperate outcry. You feel this intruding influence forcing you onto your feet and making you take a step toward the gates looming in the center of the dinner chamber. And the gateway arc, you see a cog congitator. Cong cogitator. A human likeness built into the front panel. As you approach, the torso twitches slightly. This is a servitor, an obedient automaton, created from the lobotomized human being. The sentinel turns his head to you, one of its eye sockets lighting up with two ember light irises. Uh, Tech use 45. Examine the device. Cog cogitator. Cogitator. Succeeded. You carefully inspected the design of the gate cogitator. What immediately catches your eye is a strange ally that was used as the material for the machine's components, some of which are unfamiliar to you. You suspect this might be some kind of archaeotech relic. An incredibly rare and powerful piece of technology from humanity's ancient past. 20 experience. We got some experience! That's cool. The effort of the gate begins to move. With the screeching and groaning of metal, it leans forward closer to you. Its lower jaw opens by drawing a shriek, much wider than the jaw of a living human could. The server's mouth is filled with sharp metallic fangs that glint in the dim light. The vid screen on the right lights up, showing strings of mysterious symbols on the green background. A whisper runs through your consciousness, insisting, demanding sacrifice. The voices that filled your head after Voika wounded you with, the, with his blade did not go away. On the contrary, their source coiled itself into a tight knot somewhere in the depths of your mind. Um, look for anything that can be used as a weapon. You look around in hopes of finding at least something that could work as a weapon. Your search is in vain. The chamber anteroom is completely empty and in, in perfect work condition. Now you have a broken panel or a protruding piece of re rebar in straight sight. Hmm... 
Did you forget something? I suggest you hurry. I'm trying to like avoid doing this, but I guess we've got to put our hand in. Sentinel's jaws clamp around your hand, puncturing your skin and sinking into your flesh. A few dark drops fall into the server's throat. Immediately you hear humming as the server motors start up and the pump stirred into motion. The vid screen of the cockatator con flickers. Several long minutes pass. The sentinel's jaw remains closed and you are beginning to feel sick. Perhaps if you were to lean against the gate, you could catch your breath. Maybe you can close your eyes and pretend another sort of ha- High levels of caustic humors. The subject is in a state of heightened stress. Do you require assistance? You don't understand where this quiet voice is coming from. Crackling like static. Is it the sentinel? Cockatator? Is it a figment of your weary mind? Whichever it is, you can clearly hear every word. Um... Yes. Pain shoots through your head and subsides just as quickly. It seems the entity coiled in your consciousness does not have the ability to do you any real harm. Request accepted. Initiating defense protocol. <laughs> there is still another way. Got him. Is there money to be made? Uh. Let it be known that by my will and by the true words of this document, I appoint this person to be the bearer of the warrant of trade. Bestow upon them the dynasty, the great mission. To be the paragon of humanity and broken by adversity, walk bravely first into the darkness to unite and reclaim what was lost. To triumph over nightmares untold, to hold boldly the reins of fate, words and stuff and other things. Big paper of sword, yeah. See the big paper. Escort the child of the house to safety. Uh. I need a weapon. Distance from the current location to the nearest arsenal. Initiating situational calculations. Okay. Uh, you know, that's a large amount of paper. That's, that's a pretty big uh, bit of paper. This, uh, the service code goes silent. It really is, it's really is clicking. Seconds after seconds passes, and you realize that the server skill will not answer you. All right, let's go with. What oh, man is this happening here? Who are you? Who addresses me? Temporary obnubilation following acute stress. Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel standing by. Are you the Warren Sentinel? Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel, designed as a personal escort of the child of the house and a means of communicating with the rogue trader's subjects. Mobile unit standing by. I need to contact someone, preferably Theodora. Voxcast frequencies disrupted. Initiating setup. Establishing connection. In place of the mechanical screeching, the server skills Vox projects the voice of Theodora von Valencius. Stored and ridden with static yet still recognizable beyond a doubt. Vox Master, restore communication with the Navigator Sanctum. I'm trying to contact the bridge. If anyone can hear me on this frequency, regroup all available forces and head to the upper decks at once. Regroup all available forces and head. Communication protocols breached. Signal latency assessment unavailable. Unable to establish two-way connection. Helpful. Let's lead me away from here then. Middle and upper decks. Assuming the probability of safe placement in areas of concentration of armed units. Calculating. To prevent unauthorized units from breaching the warrant chamber, Preemptive sealing must be initiated. The mobile unit will start executing the received order immediately after the safety of the warrant is secured. Let's go! As the game story unfolds, you will see notifications at the top of the screen indicating that the your current objective has been updated and that your new... Okay, so that general quest stuff. Always keep your eye on the price. Quest update, chat. Quest, quest do an update. Wow, look at these crispy bodies. Why can't I take the guns that they have? Let's not waste time with pleasantries. Okay. Okay, so where do I... He went this way. He ran over here. I don't know where he went. 
Where's the loot? I was hoping for loot. Um. Is it like maybe in here? I maybe just like go the wrong way. I don't know. The guy went off. He, he went off. Ah, yes. He just went off to the side in a different way. Can I not like open this door? Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Is it this? Old injury, stack of one. I don't want an old injury. Oh, I've got to shield the charm, but right, got it. That makes sense. Master! What? Well, whatever are you doing in the Warren Chamber? How did you. Throne, preserve me. What is the meaning of this? Kinran's is here. When they parted ways on the officer's deck, he stunned me some and brought me here. What? He intended to take revenge on Fyodor for something and trying to and trying to reach the warrant was somehow part of his plan. Oh, holy God, Emperor. I presume he is the one responsible for the mutiny. Bandmaster. I wish to remind you that you are to refer to the Lord Captain as Lady Theodora. Void Gear openly admitted that he is the, the mastermind of the mutiny. Saints' blood! And it is small wonder that the heretics are so well organized. I thought his order to seal the passages between decks was his attempt to stop the attackers from spreading to other levels. But now I see the real reason. It was to stop the enforcers from intervening. At least you are alive and now safe, Master. Alas. I doubt we can afford to look for a compartment to sit out this disaster. Mm. You're in a bad way. I can treat your wounds. I have a Medicaid kit with me. And for the love of the throne, now is not a good time to be walking around the decks without means of self-defense. Here. Damn. I've been given gear. While fighting, your character can lose some of their lose some of their wounds. Your characters have suffered an injury after being attacked by Conrad. This happens when a character receives damage that is 50% of their maximum wounds. God, this is very D&D. So, how do I fix this? Simon Dragon, thank you so much for the fall. Welcome to the crowd. Kingdom. A slow call up here, but I'm sure we can find a way to keep you warm. Fresh injury can be healed using a med kit without passing any skill tests. Once combat is over. Okay, okay. So, he's fixed my heal, my thing. We got new items. Let's uh, check those out, shall we? Right. We have one axe. Let's equip this bad boy. We have our pistol. And we have some armor. Oh, look at my... Oh, oh here we go. Wait. Can I equip this? I don't know. Whatever will will do. I have an axe and a gun chat. There we go. I'm low, I'll kick the kit it up. I've got some armor. Let's fucking do this. Uh, yeah, we literally just did that. Okay, so I'm guessing I just leave it at the door. Yep. I always have a backup plan. Hey, Benji. Oh, Sometimes. thank God. You consult the appropriate treaties on Tactica Imperial. Fate and fortune favor the bold. How do I? How do you? How do you fix? Your central the, is always there for you. I will lead do I have to, to use fortune. the medikit? Um. I still have an old injury, but he said he was going to fix it. We are the spearhead of the Imperium. I like. Look, no, there's no waste time with I am at your service. I am at your service. Okay. Let's patch you up. That oh. is a noticeable improvement. Okay. Now you're prepared for the trials ahead. I see who you did it. It makes sense. 
The lower decks are teeming with heretics, instigating the rabble to revolt. But that is the least of our problems. The ship's enforcers are rounding up the scoundrels and suppressing the resistance. The situation on the middle decks is much worse. All those strike teams have already been dispatched there. Yeah, it's just a little bit All used communication to. with the bridge and the engineering bay was lost. So, apart from scattered vox casts, we have no information to go on. Man's getting but a little bit fucked up. The worst of it. All these jolts and shaking are most alarming. These are signs that the navigator and the master helmsman are having difficulty translating the ship out of the warp and into real space. I fear that they may have already lost control. We must reach the navigator's sanctum and get a handle on the situation. Ah, this sounds if we can manage fantastic. That, some of all this vessel may yet survive. And believe it. That's crazy. Let's go. How did you find me? You sent me a Vox message. Specifically, a Vox cast on the officer's frequency, which I had the good fortune to receive. You mean to say you did no such thing? I think Warren Sentinel may have sent that message. It appeared when I opened the chamber. Warren Sentinel? The Lord Captain barely ever ventures down to the chamber, and I was at her side only once or twice when she did. And I did not see anything of the sort. Well, clearly you're not special then. The Warren Chamber is an ancient and rather sacred mechanism that the ship's tech priests treat with the utmost reverence. I assume that whatever it is that you did, you must have activated certain processes and caused the Sentinel to awaken. But hey, then, have you are. Why did none of it happen when Lady Theodora did the same? Uh, wait, what? What's WT double OTR? What's double W O T R? Um Lady Theodorus. Which one? The last one I received was about the navigator's sanctum, and that was a good while ago. I'm good while you are you doing today. In any the righteous. Case, let us hope that the Lord Captain is well and safely in charge of the ship's defense. In the meantime, we must do all we can to prevent the ship from veering off course. Sure, the navigator signed them very well. Will you lead the way? Absolutely. Let us proceed. Let us proceed. A wave of standing suddenly erupts in the service go, and you can make out Fyodor's words through the noise. Jobs, loyal sons and daughters of the God Emperor. Fight the heresy and corruption that threatens to consume our home. With all your might, destroy those who have dared. The Lord Captain is calling her crew to battle. Which means the Vox networks are set up for broadcast transmission, not message exchange. Splendid. While the rogue trader inspires proper resolve to fight in her subjects, you and I shall prove that her trust in us is well deserved. Onward. <laughs> See, I, I have one of the Pathfinder games. Um, I don't remember which one, but I have one of them. What the fuck? No mercy to those who oppose von Valencius. Cross them. When that begins a tactical, a tactical phase, during which characters cannot attack or take up reactions, or may take up advantage positions. Oh, let the character and then. Okay, so wait, so I can move us like back here. Okay. Um, sure. The combat abilities of characters uh, differ depending on R-type. Yeah, okay. And so from here, I can either use axe or I can shoot people. Okay. Let's go! I gotta ask you a question. Characters with melee weapons can make an attack opportunity with an opponent the distance of initiate his movement. Okay. On it. He never stood a chance. Fuck off. I'll make it happen. Oh uh, bullshit. 
My goat tells me it's a bad idea. Your new companion is a warrior. Is it his kingmaker? I do not. I can remember. I have a large person in melee combat and drawing enemies attacks. Okay. So. That's a lot of. Let's kill people. Let's murder. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. What? That's not the Seneschal's job. I'm not interested. Brace yourself, Avalard. No help at all. Uh, just a minor setback. It's fine. We can get this. We got this. I believe in us. Oh, he should wait. He shot his friend. Nanny. They're going after him. Jesus. He's as good as. Yeah, fuck the assholes. At your back and I took care of this. One. Someone else can do this. It will be done. Okay. That's not the Seneschal's job. Yeah, pistol burst does not seem to be. Uh, what the? <laughs> pistol burst is just uh, hurts their own people. I suffered worse. I'll make it happen. I'll see to it. Your end was inevitable. There we go. You can advance your love of your counter and companions, revealing in battles, exploring the Chronic Expanse, and completing quests earns you experience points. Once you've accumulated enough experience, your character gains a new level. In the arrow symbol on the character portrait, open up level screen. Ooh. Ooh. Level, level up. But after beginning of the game, you're made a king of your kingdom. Interesting. I don't remember which one I have. I know I have one of them. I know that I have one in my Steam library, but I don't remember which that is. So, one rank available. Wait, this isn't me, is it? This is me. But am I a warrior? Yes, I am. Uh. I would like some more. Oh, these little thumbs up mean. Was it okay? Right, these are strength ones, right? So I'm gonna go with Latics. I think Latics is probably the best one for my guy. Yes. Hey, what? No. Why? There you go. Right. Okay. And then his one. Let's give him Karoz. Yeah, that's weird. That's probably, that's probably what we want. We want to go into like Vanguard, I think. Or Assassin. I'm not sure which one, but Vanguard or Assassin is where I want to go. Let's Is get there out of here. To be made? Uh, oh. It's an interesting map system. Wobbles, have you been playing this? Have you are you already balls deep in in the sauce? Always keep your eye on the prize. There did not seem to be the ability to, to loot anything. And so he will enter the halls of the blinded guide and witness the radiance of the final dawn through the cracks and fall victim to a whim of fate. Master, watch your head. Idira, oh. would it be too much to ask that you phrase your soothsayings plainly for once? Hey, Scotland, that get into was too close. Here's why I don't have like two years, damn. Sorry, 
old man. The voices are so loud, I can't even hear myself. They shriek, they sing, they... Oh, Abelard, how they sing. Oh, Troka, I have this, um, this Khajiit for you right here. <laughs> this is Idirat Lass, personal psyker and diviner of Her Ladyship Theodora von Falencius. Idira? <coughs> I'm not drunk, old man. I'm suffering the effects of the warp that is seeping through these walls. I see the ship's fate. To die in the waves of the immaterium, fall under the burning rays of the final dawn. And in the roaring blaze, I see a figure standing. Who is it? It's me. I have no answer. The entity of your consciousness shrinks and crawls in deeper. With claws scraping against the walls of your mind, as the presence is trying to hide from the seer standing before her. A diviner, are you? The voices from beyond the threshold whisper to me. Sometimes their murmurs are clear, they grant insight. She does sound like a G. Me mad. I but me. I am patient. I know how to listen <laughs> and discern. But now, with this clamor around me. Too many voices. Too loud. Too loud. Too crazy. Too much going on in my brain. And you. You are Fon Valancius, one of Lady Theodora's heirs. Well then, <laughs> we finally meet. I gotta say, she's got like, like, like so many wires sticking into the side of her head over here. Oh, 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 oh. Here are a few clinks from the release of the servo skull, which has followed you all the way here. Vidor's scrambled words give way to a voice vaguely familiar to you. Officer's frequency. If all can hear me, those of a weapon in their hands are to gather in the officer's deck at once. Or be gather on the officer's deck at once and prepare to launch a counterattack. That settles right. Oh, Emperor's providence. The other rail lives as well. Quickly, we must head to... Yeah, I'm, a, I'm usually a Khajiit, and if I'm not a Khajiit, I'm an Argonian. Not so fast, old man. If we drown in the warp, Lady Theodora's heirs won't be any good to us. If Edelthrad's like me and hasn't yet surrendered his mind or body to the mercy of the warp, then he can still hold on a little longer without us. Blast it. You're right. First, we need to deal with what is happening here. See, I, I don't like the, like, the enforced stereotypes that they give you in Skyrim. Like, they're like, oh, Khajiit must be stealthy. He must be little rogue man. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. Big sword. Great sword, magic, or Khajiit. Let's go. What are you doing here? <laughs> the whispers called me. The ones I could make out among all the screams and screeches. Those who are rocking this boat hit us where it hurt. They went after the navigator, our guide through the warp. Other whispers called me to the engineerium, but it was too late. I heard the cry of our master Cog and the silence that followed. What? You don't mean the engine say prime is Dead. Dead. Without a doubt. <laughs> and the voices wail, heralding countless nightmares, cackling at each soul among the hundreds that are now joining the warp. The shriek from the navigator's sanctum was louder than the rest. <laughs> and it's better that we saved the navigator than some lever puller from a cooling module or a cook from the middle decks. Suma 545 Munzer. Love you. You adorable kitty. Wow. You absolute bean. Jaunty, thanks you much for the tier one for 45 months. I can't believe it's 45 heckin' months. Jaunty, I squish you. I squish your face. You adorable bean. Thank you so much. Enjoy those emotes that are and welcome back to the Crow Kingdom for my cute little harbingers. Here's your complimentary scythe. How do you know who I am? What? You think Lady Theodora didn't ask me to peek into the darkness behind the backs of those she sees as her prospective heirs? Exactly, Skull. <laughs> like, like, listen, you gotta run in there. I have seen you. I have seen the footsteps of your past and the wounds of your heart. With a great sword or a giant axe going, Skull and forever! And like, you know, when... 
The sea of swords drenched up something dark and frightening from the depths of your memory. Your soul has been tainted by the influence of warp sorcery, and it seems you will never be rid of it. Oh no! No, 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 no! Nothing is well about him! Can't you feel the chill crawling on your skin? The eyes watching you? The warp ice has already encased the bulkheads. What follows is calamity. It's called an RPG for a reason, Scotland, right? Tomorrow we're doing the large black cat fam. Amazing Pavel. Also, hi, Blake. <clears throat> but we're not just going to stand here and take it, are we? The state of things in here suggests there's a navigator around. Maybe one who's crippled or at death's door, but still kicking. And since our skin hasn't peeled off our faces just yet, <clears throat> his third eye must be closed. At worst, it's a little Thank rough you, Blake. Up. It's so even got face tracking. Around for? Let's go protect that noble mutant while we're still alive. Idri Idira, Idira has joined the party, which now consists of several characters. Select one character, click the left mouse button. To the oh, right. Okay. So again, so it's very like, you know, you pick up the whole party and then you move them. Let us not dawdle. 